On Thursday, the Democrat called for new elections in Israel. He accused Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of losing his way and said that the casualties in Gaza risked turning Israel into a pariah. Take a listen. I believe in his heart he has his highest priority is, as, is the security of Israel. However, I also believe Prime Minister Netanyahu has lost his way by allowing his political survival to take the precedence over the best interests of Israel. He has put himself in coalition with far-right ex far right extremists like Minister Smotrich and Ben Gavir, and as a result, he has been too willing to tolerate the civilian toll in Gaza. Israel cannot survive if it becomes a pariah. Well, for more on reactions earlier, we spoke to our White House correspondent, Fraser Jackson. The United States Senate's top Democrat had a stunning rebuke of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Thursday, calling him, quote, an obstacle to peace. Chuck Schumer, himself a Jewish person and the highest ranking Jewish person in the U.S. government, said that Benjamin Netanyahu was putting his political survival ahead of Israel's security needs, saying, quote, at this critical juncture, I believe a new election is the only way to allow for a healthy and open decision making process about the future of Israel. Well, the backlash was swift from the Republicans. Uh, the, uh, the top Republican in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, saying that it was grotesque and hypocritical for Americans to hyperventilate about inter foreign interference in our own democracy to call for the removal of a democratically elected leader of Israel, saying it was, quote, unprecedented. Also, pushback coming from Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party, saying that Israel was not a banana republic and that Netanyahu leads a policy that has widespread public support. The White House is finding itself increasingly Recently, between a rock and a hard place. There are growing frustrations between Joe Biden and Netanyahu, uh, mainly over Israel's failure to protect Palestinian civilians uh, and also the obstruction of aid into Gaza. The National Security Council spokesperson, John Kirby, saying that uh, we're seeing not as much effort being applied by the Israeli side to increase that flow. There have been growing calls for aid to Israel, military aid given by the United States, uh, to be conditioned. That is something that senators such as Elizabeth Warren Bernie Sanders uh, have been saying for, uh, for weeks, and we are hearing that Joe Biden's administration is starting to mold that over, especially in the face of a planned uh, offensive into Rafa in the south of Gaza, where over a million uh, Gazans have been forced to flee. Uh, Joe Biden's administration apparently mulling over whether to condition Israeli aid uh, should no plan be given to protect civilian lives in the face of that offensive.